Okay, so here's my fast track switch, and you can see uh, this is as it is out of the box. And if I um, use the controller, it switches nicely back and forth each way. So everything works correctly. So now what I'm going to do is try to move the switch stand from this side over to this side, which I need to do on like five or six of my switches because of the uh, they're in a yard and the track running alongside of it is in the way. So I need to move it from one side to the other. But on all my brand new fast track switches, which is this is the new um, item number that just came out. So this is their newest uh, fast track switch. When I move the switch stand from this side to this side, it jams and it doesn't work. And it does it on every single fast track switch that I purchased. So it took me an hour to finally figure out what was going on. So I'm going to show you basically what you should be doing to. Um, just move your switch stand from one side to the other and then I'll show you how it jams and then I'll show you why it's jamming and what the fix for it is. Okay so I took the bottom uh, metal plate off the bottom of the fast track switch. The reason I had to do that is because unfortunately line will cut them too big and they actually cover the edge when you're trying to get these switch stands off and so you can't actually can't get it back on. The uh, you can you can sort of jiggle it out to get it out, but you can't get it back on because the metal is actually just a little cut a little bit too big. So, you know, another sort of production defect where they they didn't size them perfectly right in order to be able to change these switch stands easily. So, I had to take all the screws out to get the bottom plate off. So here is it in its normal position, and I don't know if you can see this underneath here, but basically the um, switch stand has a uh, a little pin that basically, let's see if I can get this closer here, you know when you move your switch back and forth it's this lever right here, basically this lever right here moves back and forth and all it has is basically a pin on the lever that's here to, to uh, interlink the two pieces together. So all you do is you take out these two screws, you pull it off you take out these two screws to pull off the blank on the other side and then you just pop it over line up the pin so it's in the uh, the lever here and everything should work so let me take this off and I'll show you what's happening okay so I took it off and you can see here basically it's just a uh, there's a pin right here that sticks up and that pin would go right here into this slot basically so that's just what makes it go back and forth so really simple. So all I got to do is move it on onto this side. So all you have to do is take the blank out on this side. And then all you should have to do is then take the switch stand and put it on this side. Line up the pin to make sure the pin right here that pin right there goes into this slot and as long as they're lined up everything should be okay and you can see there's two uh, copper connections here for the LED on the switch stand so obviously this has to be on here and the screws have to be tightened they don't have to be over tightened but they have to be tightened so you make contact and the LED is working okay so let me uh, put that on and I'll show you what happens okay so I got it the switch stand now is on the other side here and basically if I use my controller I don't know if you can hear it but it's clicking but the switch is not moving and basically if I try to move it manually it's completely jammed I can't move it at all so it seems like the pin is out of the slot or something or something's not lined up but that's not actually the case the pin is perfectly where it's supposed to be everything works and I actually just have this snug that I don't even have this over tightened so let me show you why it's happening okay so I must have taken this on and off I don't know how many times to try to figure out what was going on because obviously this lever here is being squeezed down too hard where it can't move back and forth which is why it won't work because you can see right now it's free without the switch stand on it so um, I thought maybe I had a defective switch so when I started doing the other four and the same thing was happening on every single one I knew there was something else going on here and what I didn't see right away is if you look on this side, on this opening right here, you can see it's completely flat. 
that's where the pin goes into this slot right here but there's nothing else it's completely flat but for some reason on this side I don't know if you can see it but there's actually a little nub left over here maybe from the molds or something I'm not sure that's actually sticking up here so when you put that when you put the switch stand on this side and you tighten down your screws here basically what's happening is this little nub is just enough to push it down and it's jamming the switch because there's no space clearance anymore like this switch stand right here the little pin that's sticking up here you notice it's it's flat right here so with that little pin sticking up here on the edge it's actually jamming these two tighter together when you put your screws in and it can't move so all I had to do was basically cut this little nub off here make it flush so that this is flush just like it is on this side because it wouldn't make any sense why one side would have it and one side wouldn't the one the what the side that works does not have the little nub sticking up the side that doesn't has a nub I'm not sure if this is just left over from a mold thing and they didn't cut off the edge because they didn't realize it or what the situation is but it's always on the opposite side for some reason of the one where the switch stand is installed from the factory so this is a this is a pretty you know this is going to happen on every single new fast track switch that Lionel is releasing as far as I can tell because every single one I got uh, which again are the new the new ones has this little nub sticking up here now maybe they didn't thought think it was going to cause any kind of problems but it actually does so I'm going to cut this off here and then mount the switch stand on here I'm going to make sure the screws are nice and tight and then we're going to test it out again okay so now you can see on this side I've completely uh, cut off the little nub that used to be right here it's perfectly smooth so now I'm going to put the switch stand back on tighten it down and we're going to test it out okay so now you can see we have our switch stand which now on the other side it used to be over here originally and um, we're going to hit the controller and if you can see it works perfect okay so basically uh, it looks like they forgot to shave off uh, one of the molding nubs or something I'm not sure why it's on there but that's the cause if you try to switch your switch uh, stands and you start jamming up your fast track switches so now I got uh, four more switches to do to correct that so it's kind of a pain uh, you know I spent uh, I bought um, 20 fast track switches you 90 bucks a piece you do the math and then I have to take them apart and actually fix them so it's kind of annoying but uh, it is at least luckily I don't have to take them back and uh, they're not completely defective where they can't be fixed so if anybody else has that problem you know what to do thanks